We've talked a lot about how the pandemic's changed our finances, how it could change our finances, and how it's really disrupted how we see money and finance as a generation. What about when it's done? really fight the peer pressure to say yes to everything. If the pandemic has taught us anything, it's taught us that our time is goddamn precious. We should spend it how we want to spend it because anything could happen tomorrow. We were thrown into a long ass lockdown at a moment's notice last year. So just because things start to open up, don't feel like you need to be everywhere at the same time. Don't feel like you need to be like out here with Sally, John and Nelly. I don't know who these people are. Drinking all the quirky cocktails and eating all the Asian fusion starter plates. Guard your money, guard your time, do what you wanna do. Second thing not to forget is that your earnings suddenly have an increase to match, you know, the economy's expectation of everyone. We've built good habits over the pandemic to spend less than we earn. So let's let those habits take us on amazing holidays where we can spend the time that we're never gonna get back and not down the road to the nearest bar, no matter how quirky the cocktail is, I'm telling you. Something I'm going to try really hard not to do is feel like I need to wear a brand new outfit every time I go outside. This temptation can be just, it can be really heavy and weigh really heavily on your shoulders, especially because we've not really had the time to go out and wear all the clothes that we want to wear. Over the last year, I can count on my hands the number of outfits and clothes that I've actually worn, and actually put together and worn more than once. And I can count on my hands the pieces that I've actually gravitated towards more often than not. It just means that I don't need new stuff. Like I know myself, I don't need new stuff. And don't get me wrong, it'll be hard to watch all the influencers with their new clothes and new restaurants and you'll want to be like them, but trust me, that kind of happy feeling of wearing a new outfit does not last long. And when you're back in your flat with an overflowing wardrobe that you can't even sift through, it just gives you anxiety and it's just not worth it. And let's not forget about our beloved investments. So if you've started investing over the last year, you'll know what I'm talking about. We have worked hard to build these investments up. We've worked hard on not canceling our standing orders, not reducing our standing orders and researching our favorite funds and being, you know, person that invests their money. And you don't need to be selling these investments for your round on a Saturday night or an expensive restaurant booking or a designer purchase. If you need to, maybe reduce the standing order that you've got going just now, but keep up the habit of continuously, regularly contributing into your stocks and shares ISAs. The final thing is really to just to not forget your values. The pandemic gave us a really quiet, intentional period of time, especially for people in their 20s, to really figure out what we want to do with our lives, our money, our careers, our hobbies, everything. And especially with money, what we want to be spending on and what really gives us that satisfaction and value to our lives. The short term buzz of shopping sprees and treating ourselves is just not it for me anymore. It's just not. And because it's not gonna cut it, it's not gonna cut that and I'm not gonna cut on my values. Mine is still around independence and freedom and knowing this is really helping me to stay strong and focused for the rest of 2021. And now saying all these things about peer pressure, not running straight to your local when restrictions lift, it's really hard to say all this and stick to it and also gives off the impression that you're kind of sitting alone in your flat with all this money building up that you can't spend. Life isn't like that. If you want to go to the bar, just get one cocktail instead of round after round or one round instead of multiple. If you want to eat out, eat out once a week instead of every single night or instead of all weekend. There are so many ways to make a small difference to your budget that add up and really help you do the things you actually want to do week to week, paycheck to paycheck. So I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you're enjoying life wherever in the world you are and I will see you next week. Bye.